Hi, just going to do a quick little film here of the current state of the uh, Port Defender World Editor. So at the moment I just have a uh, blank world loaded without any uh, textures or anything. So let me go into my console for a second. And now let me just run this little script since I haven't built a fancy way of uh, doing this yet. But now let me just do a little rotation. And now I'm able to uh, load the worlds in, which is pretty good actually, because now I don't have to lose all my work. And this is just a little... This is what I'm thinking is going to be like the first level. It's going to be a, a training level, so it's going to you know, not be all fancy, have any, uh, you know, world like so. It's going to mostly just be uh, like if, if it was in a, uh, a virtual world. So I can hear there's going to be the uh, the entrance and the exit for the uh, creeps, and then you're going to be able to build on the blue areas, and then all the orange and the darker grays in the, in the background. Or just you know have some uh, graphics in the back, and then this will just be the uh, training level to learn how to play, how to place a tower, and then how some things you know work work a little differently. Like if you place a tower here, it can actually fire further because this is on a lower level than the uh, blue tiles, which you can see here. You know that's that's just higher up. So the so so the range of the towers actually will uh, differ based upon where they are in the map, and then you can't fire through certain things. So if there's a wall blocking a tower, then the tower can't fire there. If the tower is too high up in the air, then the tower can't hit it, or, or you know can't hit a block right next to it, because there's no way for it to aim down unless it's like a missile based or some sort of artillery based. But then those will probably have have to have rules like has to be more than one block away you know so it'll give it a little more strategy of you know how you place your uh, towers but then still working on the tower part because right now I'm just trying to get the uh, worlds and then some sort of uh, models to put on the world so it's so it's not so bland like you know not everything has to be a block sometimes you know there can be a little uh, models on it little little things just to make it you know, look a little more realistic, like in uh, Minecraft, how there's a little uh, grass and stuff on the uh, cubes to make it look nicer. So, you know, so the same thing here, there'll, there'll be some sort of, uh, you know, little uh, graphics or something just to make the cubes not look so boring. And then I think also, you know, there will be, uh, I guess really only these cubes, the uh, the white and the blue, are actually yeah, useful to you. So that all these other blocks would be probably marked as uh, you know, scenery, not important. So then if your uh, device really couldn't handle it, it probably could just not you know not render anything that it doesn't actually need, need to see. So I need to come up with all the different level of uh, detail settings, you know, so that the uh, world can uh, look a little more uh, fancy. And then if I really wanted to, I can now go in here and now I can go and I can uh, change the skins so if I want to be a bad person I can go in here and just say cliff start oh I can't do that, that's a uh, that's a, a half brick I can do it here though so these are full bricks, say cliff start I can say cliff, cliff middle and now cliff end and now that is not a flat block, now those blocks have a little more extra polygons you know just to make them look uh, just to make them look a little bit different it really doesn't matter but yeah it just breaks up the uh, blockiness and then also right now you know the uh, world editor is missing a few of the uh, fancier things like it like it, it can't export but I can now see the uh, walking path so now the uh, white tiles are gonna be where where they can walk I can see the flight path, which this one doesn't have any flying creeps. Then I can see the build path. And then, yeah, so then these are the uh, path items that you can actually uh, build on. And then back to flying for a second. Now, flying can work a lot differently than it does now. Because you can act, because now since towers have a position in the, the 3D world, so if the flying creeps are going to be like, if they swoop through a valley, well then the normal towers can actually hit them because they'll be in, in, the, in the right level. But then if that same creep is flying above those towers, 
then it can't hit him because that you know that turret just can't point up that high. So that's gonna be like nice little ways to you know make it so you know if the creeps do some sort of bombing run through it, yeah, it can. You can still actually use the uh, normal towers. You don't have to use the special AA branded towers just to make things a little more uh, different. So I guess it's gonna be more like a, a, a puzzle game. You know, and then also if you place a tower on the ground and then you place place another tower next to it, that tower is going to then block the fire of the other tower because you know it doesn't want it hit the other tower. So actually, it uh, constrains the um, the the ability for you to hit things. So there may need to be a concept of a wall or some sort of half tower, you know, so you can place something that doesn't actually block the view but still blocks the uh, creeps you know so you'll sacrifice firepower for the ability to uh, to uh, build build a path but there have to be some sort of rules or uh, limits on those so you just don't go uh, crazy and just you know build your entire path first you know something has to be done there to make it like maybe it's really expensive to uh, maybe instead of having to sell a wall you have to buy the ability to get rid of the wall since you're not actually selling it you're kind of like uh, scrapping it so maybe like a, a double purchase you purchase it once and then you gotta purchase it again to get rid of it which may be a good incentive so that you don't waste the walls since I just don't want people to uh, cheat their way through then I also gotta somehow get the uh, Lua support so that it can actually have some uh, decent uh, scripted events because I would think like, you know, at the intro of this, we would probably start off somewhere on the side and have a camera, let me try a different one, you know, have a camera, you know, looking so you'll see all the blocks like this. So it just won't always start out in the uh, basic overhead view, you know, and then also during uh, gameplay, you know, it could switch to a camera and show you the world from specific points of uh, view which would be nice so that if in case I needed to like tell them oh no the creeps are gonna come from this path next then you'll you know, have a idea that oh it's over there not just some random place that you don't know where it is like oh no it's path two where's path two I don't know so yeah and then also need to work out how to get the sky boxes to work and then since this is a VR world the sky boxes don't really need to be you know, super fancy. They can probably just be black and white, look like space. Maybe have some like uh, square graphics on them. Have to work on that uh, that uh, later. Just something abstract enough so it doesn't really matter. I think kind of like how um, Darwinia did their uh, their skies. Those are really nice looking. So maybe something similar to that, but you know, with more of a uh, cube look since. Everything is going to be cube based. All the art's going to look cube based. Just trying to stay with the common theme. And the creeps are going to be really low uh, poly count. So I need to figure out how to do the animation of them. But I can do that later. But uh, yeah, so that's the uh, the basics of the current port defender level editor, which has gone through a lot of changes. And now we got also more features. So now if I want. I can go in, or I got more uh, textures now. I can go in here and now. I can uh, fill, yeah, fill face texture. Oh, why don't you work? Oh, wait, set texture. Uh, it doesn't want to work today. Don't know why. It's evil. There it goes. You guys notice also there's a wood go with some uh, bricks but that's for another day so uh, thanks uh, I'll, I'll, I'll keep working this and then at some point Port Defender 2 should show up if I ever have the time to actually make the creeps do anything alright thanks